Chris Witherspoon is here. What up, ye? Hey, what Chris. Up? You know, when I started this show, Way Up with Angela Yee, you were one of the people I thought of as like somebody who would be a recurring person to come on as an entertainment analyst, as the founder of Pop Viewers. Come on, come on. All you the know, things. All I the was things. like, he's an expert in all these, and I love your perspective. Yeah. Well, and your energy. You. Thank so. you. And I just love being here and just seeing you continue to thrive and do what you do. Yeah. I listen. I am an avid fan. Thank I, you. I tune in. So it is just like, I'm getting goosebumps being in this chair with you today. Well, thank you so much. And I was at an event for JP Morgan, and they were talking about you. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's still the event we be talking. That's a good thing. That's yeah. a Good thing. That's yes. a good thing. I just finished a tech stars program for my company, Pop Viewers, and JP Morgan actually backed it. Oh, okay. JP Morgan so is officially an investor in my business now. That is amazing. Come on, JP. See, I yes. love those type of conversations. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, Lunell is going to be joining us today. She has a special that Dave Chappelle produced that's on Netflix, uh, Town Business. So shout out to Lunell. She's hilarious. Also, when we come back, of course, we have to shine a light. 800-292-5150 is a number. You want to spread some love, spread some positivity. I'm here. Chris Witherspoon is here. You're here. Let's shine a light. It's way up. Shine. I'm a shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Chris Witherspoon. Chris Witherspoon. I sounded like I was stuttering. <laughs> is here with me today. And it's time to shine a light. And I know you have somebody you want to shine a light yeah. on. I have a friend. Her name is Jasmine Ellis Cooper. She's in this show on Bravo called Summer House, Summer House Martha's Vineyard. And okay. she's just an amazing soul. Me and her have become very good friends. And her husband's away right now. He's deployed in the Army. So she's pregnant with, I think she's like five months pregnant. Mm -hmm. But she is going to be a boy mom. She's a fabulous, amazing person. And I want her to come on the show one day. All right, Summer House, Martha Spinney. I got to make sure I watch Have that. Have you watched Bravo. it on Bravo? I haven't, but now I'm going to. It is to. juicy. Okay. And she's like the star of the show. You know what? It's crazy. I I went to Martha's Vineyard once ever. But if you don't get your stuff booked, because it was like the um, Black Film Festival. And so they booked me so last minute. And it was a little bit of a, I didn't really like love where I was staying. Oh, really? Because it's hard it. to get a place to stay. No, I mean, if it's you're black not saying, excellence what is it, there. Oak Bluff? Something what? like that. Oak, yeah. Oak Bluffs. Um, but it is black excellence. And then prices are excellent. Okay. It is hard. Yeah. Like they book really fast. And the pr it's, it's insane how much they'll, they'll charge you for a place out there. All right. Well, good to know. I need to go at an off time and yes. really enjoy myself. But um, that was. Uh, your Chris Witherspoon shining light on Jasmine uh, from Martha's Vineyard. Summer House, Summer House Martha's, Martha's Vineyard. Vineyard. Okay, Bravo. Season I'm two watch coming that. up in like two months, I think. All right, now who do you guys want to shine a light on? 800 292 5150. Kay, how are you? I'm fine to yourself. I'm good, thank you. Who would you like to shine a light on? I want to shine a light on my niece today. Today, her 15th birthday. I just want to tell her Uncle K loves her and keep up the good work. Ooh, where did she go to school? Uh, she's in Philly right now at the moment. All right, well, shout out to her. 15 years old. I'm trying to think, what was I doing when I... Oh, that's when I moved to New Jersey, when I from Brooklyn. Okay. All right, well, we do have a, a present for you, Kay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you want to know what it is? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I got you some Born in Roma by Valentino. The fragrance is amazing. You're going to love it. Everybody that comes in the studio, because I wear it, they're always like, what smells so good? I gave some to DC Young Fly when he was here. So now you got some too. So you, I'm sure you smell good already, but this will just bring it to another level. Of course, of course, of course. I would not, but you know, I, I like to smell good. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, well, hold on the line. We'll get an address to send it to. All right, thank you. Hey, Mello. What's up, Yeezy? How you feeling? I'm oh, good. How you feeling? Life is amazing. It is what it should be. What's up, Dan? Congratulations again, bro, bro. Go ahead, Dan. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Our producer, of Dan. Of course, of course. So, Mella, what's man, good? I shine a light. Man, I got a shine light on my little brother, my twin, Kale. He gave me Conquito for the first time. <gasps> and Ooh. I started speaking Spanish, man. I took a sip of that, and it took a sip of me. So, shout out to him. You wow. feel me? Wow. You and never then, had Coquito before? You know we got a Coquito latte at my coffee shop. I'm now I'm going to the coffee shop today. What time y'all close? Uh, six. All right, I'll be there at four thirty. <laughs> All right, Mella, I'm we'll so see serious. you there. All right, well that was Shine a Light eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty. In case you couldn't get through, and of course brought to you by Born in Roma by Valentino Beauty for her, for him, for them. And when we come back, we have your Yeti, and let's talk about breakups, engagements, and car accidents. They're all tied in. It's way up with Angela Yee. Yeti is next. They say it's truth in the room. 
From industry shade to all the gossip. Talk to me. Angela's spilling that yee tea. Talk to it's Way Up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and I'm joined by my very special co-host today, Chris Witherspoon. Hey, and what's up? And you are the expert, like I said, Mr. Pop Viewers founder, okay, <laughs> entertainment analyst. So let's get into some Yee Tea. Deion Sanders and Tracy Edmonds, they were engaged, but they have unfortunately ended their relationship. It's been 12 years. It's, it, uh, so many folks didn't even know about this, by the way. Uh, I feel like it wasn't something that folks talked a whole lot about. Was their right. relationship? They kind of kept it on the low, you know? Well, I feel like they've been together for a while, and maybe they've been broken up for a while because we've seen a lot of Deion Sanders with all the amazing things that he's been yeah, doing. He's having a moment. He's but a we're moment. also not seeing a lot about the two of them together. So Tracy Edmonds posted to everyone who's been there for us, supported us, and shown us love. We have mutually decided that it's best for us to move forward in life as friends and have made the decision with love in our hearts, respect for each other, and appreciation for the times we share together. Deion Sanders also posted, love you, Tracy, and you've been a true blessing to me. I appreciate the times we shared and the laughs we've had. That's beautiful. I love seeing like an amicable, conscious uncoupling. And like Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin. <laughs> to yeah. me, this is like, we need more of this. I feel like it starts off that way a lot too. Right. Like Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. It's so true. But this, this is probably... <laughs> all of a sudden, you're like, what happened? But this is also, she's probably getting a good coin. She's well, she like, already good makes, to go. But she makes a lot of money already. She's, she's a, a producer. television producer. That is so true. Yeah she, yeah, she does pretty well for herself. And they said she been moved and got her own um, place. And okay. it's like a, a state. Like not even just, a, but a huge estate with multiple Fly me homes. out, Tracy. Let's let's have a breakup <laughs> celebration. Uh, all right, people do those. Uh, Summer Calm Walker down. and Little Meach break up rumors after they unfollowed each other on Instagram. Sometimes people do just unfollow each other because they be mad. I'm telling you, that's oh, like one the, person that's blocks the one new person. thing. Yeah. But see, me, I don't unfollow. I'll do the thing where you don't know I unfollowed you. I, I just can't see your stuff. Restrict. Yeah. So Restrict I'm not looking somebody. at your stuff. I'm not, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what happened, but uh, they've been off and on. All right, and in good news, Terrence J and Michaela Sultan are engaged. Okay, she's a model and a sommelier. Let's is, go. Yeah, so. like a wine, like a wine connoisseur, right? Yes. Okay, there we and go. It's like a very strict schooling you have to go through to get that. And so, congratulations to them. Okay, Terrence J, come on, Terrence. Are serious? And I love that Terrence he flew Michaela's family out. Uh, to Miami to be there for the special moment. I love seeing that. Yes. And, um, he, yeah, he does live in Miami now. Remember, he moved from LA. That is He's so like, I'm true. out I'm in Miami. All right. And another, another one, a good, uh, another good friend of Terrence J's is Michael B. Jordan. Now, Michael B. Jordan crashed his Ferrari into a parked car in Hollywood. You didn't even hear this story, but this happened last night. And a spokesperson for the LA, LAPD said the incident occurred around 11.34 p.m. It was a busy section of Sunset Boulevard. There was a traffic collision. There were no signs of anything nefarious and no evidence of a DUI upon arrival. They did a field sobriety... Oh, they did not do a field sobriety test, but no arrests were made. Listen, I hope he has good insurance because that's a Ferrari. Ain't just a regular car. He crashed a Ferrari. <laughs> okay. Yes, into a Kia. Into a, How does that even... Come on. Mm -hmm. Someone's having a big payday. <laughs> so, and I don't know if anybody was, it, it was a parked car, so fortunately nobody was injured. Oh, that's true. But they okay. said the left side of the vehicle was dented, metal scraps were hanging down after the impact, and his vehicle was, uh, they said the right fender was ripped off, and one of the tires was spotted multiple yards behind the car after uh, the collision. Looks like the Kia was uh, had less damage done. Right? I hope that they got Get nation to a Kia. nationwide is on your side for this one. All right. Well, when we come back, we do have about last night because that was your YT and we're going to talk about what you did last night and this is a YT. Renaissance is number one at the box office. $21 million in its debut. Come on, we are not surprised that it's number one. So about last night, since you went to go see it yesterday, we'll discuss. But right now, let's get into some Beyonce and Sean Paul. I don't know if we'll ever see them perform this song together uh. again, but here baby boy it's way up night. so about last night last night last night here's how it went down all right it's way up but first let's talk about me and chris out here vibing to sexy red <laughs> if you heard you know bow 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 you know that song the F my baby daddy. Oh no, I don't know that one. Oh, okay, we'll play, play it for that you. one next. Yeah. Yes, please. I don't know if we can. Ooh, you know we'll what's hard off, about we'll playing Sexy Red? A lot of her music, you gotta like bleep out too much. Oh, but I love okay. it. Like I be, you know, I like to in my head. Like 
I'm really, really. Oh, um, me too. That I'm ratchet. Yeah. yeah. No, I have a whole <laughs> alter ego in my head. Um, and life, so actually. let's do about last night. Now you went to go see Beyonce's Renaissance, which, by the way, is number one at the box office, twenty-one million dollars. All right. Now usually they said after Thanksgiving, early December, the box office is really slow. Yep. But Renaissance defied the odds. It's the first time a film has opened over twenty million dollars on that weekend in twenty years since the last Samurai. No, no, she brought us out, and I think for me going to see this film, it was obviously reliving the concert again, like seeing what that experience was like. But all, but you know, for Beyonce, she doesn't really give us access into her life. So mm-hmm. with Taylor Swift, Taylor did press. She's done interviews. So you're watching a concert and not looking for like that documentary experience. Mm-hmm. With this one, it was trying to see what Beyonce tells us about her life. The cameras catching her, her daughter with was Sir and Rumi. Her parents were backstage. Because yeah, we never get to see them. We, never we got get to hear to- Blue Ivy giving her input. Child, I mean, Blue I was, see was it. a huge so part of the documentary. <laughs> But also, I think what I learned was Beyonce and her work ethic, her resilience. She had a knee, her entire knee. That song we just play, Hands on Your Knees. Mm -hmm. She had her entire (laughs) knee blow out before she did this concert tour. (gasps) Had to have her knee, like, I think, like, reconstruct her somehow. You see her, like, on a table getting, like, work done to her knee while she's having, like, PT and rehearsing, wearing a knee pad. Um... I just think her work ethic to me outshines anyone in the industry. Yeah, for people that don't understand, everybody will be like, I want to be the next Beyonce. I want to do this, Beyonce. Yeah. But you don't even understand the amount of work. Her mom said that she was in the studio 24, 24 hours, hours a day. hours yeah. a day for like a month. Mm-hmm. And what's crazy is Beyonce's over a certain age now, so it catches up to you. And she got kids. She had an IV. Things change. The one part that I love, I'm going to rewatch it over and over again, she was on a plane with Jay-Z and I saw an IV bag behind her. Like I'm, I'm like, what is she taking while she's flying? <laughs> Around. I'm like, yeah. I want to get me a good IV for my house. Have you ever done that? No, but I want I one now. I'm like, if Beyonce has an IV bag, I, I, I want one too. All right. At well, the crib. Okay, now I got to go see it. <laughs> How were they acting in the theater? Child, they was turning up. It was a Sunday afternoon yesterday, but also it was a good turn up. It wasn't crazy. Folks weren't uh, weren't fighting, fighting, but there were certain songs that got people on their feet. Oh, I got to go see it. All right. Well, thank you for filling me in. Um, now, when we come back, uh, we have Tell Us a Secret. Now, Chris, were you here for Tell Us a Secret before? I don't remember this. This is where child. people call in and they are anonymous and we don't judge them and they're going to tell us a secret, okay? It could be anything. We're not here to judge you. Chris and I are just here to listen for you yes. to put it out Circle there. Maybe trust, it's something y'all. that's been a burden on your brain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe you, you do want some judgment. I don't know, but they will judge you in the comments. <laughs> 800-292-5150. Call us up and tell us a secret. It's way up. This is a judgment-free zone. Tell us a secret. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and I am here with my good friend, Chris Witherspoon. What's up? Make sure y'all check out his company, Pop Viewers, that he founded. And um, it's time for Tell Us a Secret. Now, Chris, you know this is when people call in. We are not going to judge them, but no. we can ask questions to get further clarification. That's what we call it. Um, and it's anonymous. I love this. I love this moment of authenticity. <laughs> no one does it like y'all. All right. <laughs> like well, 800-292-5150. All right, anonymous questions. Caller, what's your secret? So basically, I've been working at this place for a little bit now, and uh, we had this Christmas party where we supposed to get a Christmas bonus, mm-hmm. and uh, the boss didn't give us the bonus, so my coworker <gasps> stole his glasses from his ass, so he couldn't, he couldn't even, he, he don't know what he's doing, he can't see nothing. He stole his glasses. Wait, how do y'all not get your Christmas <laughs> bonus? Man, because he told us that we, if we went to the Christmas party, we stayed the whole time that he's going to give us the Christmas bonus. But we stayed all the way till 9 o'clock at night and he ain't give us nothing. But could the bonus still be coming, maybe, on the way? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely still coming. <laughs> <laughs> he don't come. Now, where did, gla- where did they put his glasses? Man, I'm about to ask him. I don't know. I just got him to him. Oh. <laughs> Was he able to drive home? Yeah, I don't know. That ain't my problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all glasses wild. are expensive too. They especially are. If they, when they're prescription. I don't know if they were they super thick glasses where he can't see a thing. You know what I mean? I'm not. No, yeah. He's basically blind without them. Oh, damn. Y'all did him hey, dirty. Bonus, he, he be seeing by it's now. my bonus. He shouldn't have told them though they was about to get that their bonus. So that, you can't play with people's money. All especially. right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. See, no judgment. They are crazy. <laughs> hey, Anonymous Carla. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. It's me and Chris with a spoon. What's your secret? So my secret is I have been in a relationship for six years and we are engaged, but I have not had an orgasm in our relationship in the last two years. Ooh. And I have not told my fiance that. So why? So you were having them before. What happened? After a while, things get kind of 
mundane and boring mm-hmm. and if he's not willing to try new things, especially as a woman, when your body changes after having children and things like that, you know, with usual techniques may not produce the same results. But with his machismo being so strong, you know, it's hard to tell him, hey, do this instead because that's not working anymore. Are you faking it? Unfortunately, sometimes, yes, I am. This could be a breakthrough in your relationship. Y'all can go <laughs> shopping together to one of them little intimacy stores and little mm. sex shops. I would say try to get a little bag of things that you could play around with together. Yeah, some toys. Some toys. But I think as long as you still are able to come together and have sex, oh no, you he have is. to just not. But you have to just get real. <laughs> you have to get real honest and get very creative with him. I think, and make it be something that, that can be an adventure for the two of you. Yeah, I'll try some different things. I was a very adventurous uh, person sexually before we got together. Even when we got together, you know, I had my Pandora's box, as I like to call it, but it was so intimidating to him that ultimately I had to reduce myself sexually to meet him at his comfort level. And now I think it's coming back to backfire on me. Yeah, ease him into it. You know, just ease him into it. Play little games. Tell him, no, we're not doing all that yet. You got to wait. You have to earn it. Maybe y'all could watch porn together and then uh, copy what's happening in the movie. That's an idea. That would be an idea. I hope he just doesn't take it as, oh, I'm not enough, you know. No, no, you got to make it fun. Y'all got to have some wine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll figure something out. Okay, well, listen, we did a whole thing, but no judgment. But thank you for calling and sharing. All right, well, that was Tell Us a Secret, 800 292 5150, in case you couldn't get through. And when we come back, we have some Yee Tea, and let's discuss Usher. You talked about going to Beyonce's show. Did you make it out to Usher's residency? You know, it was his final show, and he got very emotional. We'll discuss its way up. She about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that Yee Tea. Come and get the tea. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Chris Witherspoon is here, founder of Pop Viewers, also NBC News Entertainment Analyst. What's poppin', Angela Yee? What's poppin'? Let's talk about what's poppin' in our Yee T. Usher had his final Las Vegas residency performance. Did you go to that? I didn't get a chance to go to that. Did you go? No. You should have gone. He probably would have ser- ser- serenaded you. I would have been. <laughs> oh, that's tough. I mean, would did you, you have see let him? him? <laughs> did you see him? Yeah. I mean, how could you not? I mean, you got to let him go. Did go you see in. Mary J. Blige? I mean, I saw yesterday she pulled away. She wasn't having it. I know. But, but Mary's also, she's a girl from the, from the Bronx. They said it was Yonkers. Monet. It was Monet. She ain't playing. <laughs> who's, wait, who's Monet? For her character on. Oh, um, yeah. She's yeah. giving you Monet from Power, from yeah. like the Power series. Yeah. She played him game. She pulled her face. Her entire face away, but I but also I saw like him. She could have got up and did a little, you know, little married two step. I also saw Jennifer Hudson with comment on Saturday. I think Saturday or Friday. Yeah, she went up there. Yeah, and she that got up. She was dipping and doing it. That's that kind of yeah. like a day. They were on a day. Fun. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah, you yeah. know. But um, he was emotional. It was his last performance. By the way, probably one of the most talked about in our community. Oh my God. Vegas residencies ever. I mean, props to Usher too. Who was? Who's? I think that Vegas residency is why he's doing the halftime show. It put him back on the map. I mean, he was he was on the map for us already. Mm-hmm. But I think for a lot of the folks that are into the business of music put them on the map in a real way and I bet you it made a lot of artists want to do a residency now in oh, Vegas yeah. because it went so well so shout out to you Usher I'm going to the Beyonce one if that really happens the new edition rumblings. is doing theirs oh they're, they're doing one too yeah. I'll go to that one as well they already announced theirs I'm going to go to that alright uh, Will Smith gave an update about I Am Legend 2 where he is um, starring in and producing alongside Michael B. Jordan he was at the Red Sea International Film Festival and um, the sequel is based Based on the alternate ending, here's what he said. I uh, have a call with Michael B. Jordan <laughs> tomorrow. But in the, in the first one, in the theatrical version, my character died. But on the DVD, there was an alternate version where my character lived. We're going with the mythology of the DVD version where my character lived. And I can't tell you anymore, but Michael B. Jordan is in and we're, we're doing it. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. I'm so into this. And that movie, when it came out, it shook me. Each time I see it, I'm shook. And I think this is a great way shook for us. Will. Shook it. For Will to kind of have a comeback. You know what? Our Michael producer Dan said this is the first movie that made him cry. Oh my God. He cried? Yeah, I think he, he said cried. that when like a dog yeah. died or something. The part where the dog died. <laughs> no, I cried. I screamed. I jumped. And I also rewatched that a lot during COVID. I was watching it a oh lot. Oh my gosh. Because to me, I wanted to Chris, go what all was going in. On? <laughs> I wanted to be ready. I was like, if the zombies are coming, that, let me figure out the, it was the blueprint. Bird, what was it called? Bird box? Let me get the cheat yeah, codes. I want to survive. <laughs> yeah. All right. Glorilla. 
has gotten her boobies done. So she was on social media. She went on Instagram Live and revealed that she got a new body. Here's what she said. I just bought some new <laughs> Did a little feeling, you know, just feel to me. It's um, for, my, for my man, Grip on. <laughs> some All grip right, on, she listen. said. Do it for you, girl. So she did it for her and for her new man to grip on it. I'm trying know? to see these things right now, but I'm just proud of her for coming out and being honest Googling about it. it. I'm Googling it. I'm like, wait, did she post them? Uh, but at least she's being upfront and honest. Yeah. You know? All up front. All up front. But yeah, so she did that. Uh, she's very funny, by the way. No, I, I want to see Glorilla begin hosting stuff like the VMAs, the BET Awards. She is hilarious. I love behind her the voice. Mic. And, I, yeah, and I think she's quite entertaining. When she did lip service, she said some things. Things that people were saying. I think she was joking, but I'm not sure. No, she's unfiltered. She but she does not hold anything back. Flashback to that episode. We were like, what? <laughs> That's nasty. But she tried to say it was a joke later. Maybe it was. Um, but I had to do a cereal, right? Was that right? All right. I'll be playing but that one tonight. That is your Yeti. And when we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They are flying under the radar, but they're very fun, interesting, important, all of those things. It's way up. It's in the news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Chris Witherspoon is here with me today. What's good? What's popping? What's popping? And are we ready for these under the radar I stories? I love these stories. I love these stories. I All live. right. Well, Saks and Neiman Marcus might be merging. You said you thought they already were I the mean, same I'm company. Just, to me, they're the same. They're the same damn thing. Two yeah. stores that I can't afford. Like, let's keep it honest. <laughs> I don't, they have I don't good even, sales. They got beautiful windows. I walk past the windows and that's about it. Somebody was laughing at me the other day because I was like um, buying something on sale at Saks and then they had like an additional um, 20% you took it, you off. You took it back and got that 20% off, right? No, so I actually went online and it, the code wasn't working but then I went in my email and found another code. He, <laughs> he no. was like, well, you got a bunch of codes for these discounts. Because the prices in there are like rent prices. Those are rent prices. When I promise you though, the sales, when the stuff goes okay. on sale, amazing, all right? So right man. now, they are in talks to merge and um, the only thing is they're having some issues of who's going to get a bigger portion in cash um, both chains are struggling, though, so that's why they got to figure this out. Neiman went bankrupt in 2020 because of pandemic lockdowns, partly, and the huge debts from their management and investment board and uh, Saks and Neiman. Would, and I noticed a lot of Saks have been closing. The mall that I, I noticed love that as well. Yeah, in Jersey, there's no more Saks there anymore. Um, you know what is the same? Bergdorf Goodman and Neiman Marcus are the same company. Oh, they're the same company. Okay, but this deal is valued at three billion dollars. Mm-hmm. So it'd be huge if it actually happens. Yeah, and it would save both of them. Okay, Hopefully it'll make the prices go down too. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. All right, self-checkouts are going to be scrapped at Walmart, Costco, and Wegmans. Uh, And some retail experts predict the reported rise in crime will lead to the demise of self-checkout at big retailers. Also, um, because people are just stealing. You know, self-checkout has gotten a lot of mixed reviews from customers. Some prefer not having to interact with employees. Others have issues with technology mishaps. I used to work at a supermarket when I was in college at campus, and... I love bagging my own groceries. I always bag my own oh, yeah. it's groceries kind of anyway. Right? And I also like to like put things the way I want to in a bag. But I will say when I do self checkout, I hate when it keeps on calling for um an associate to come and oh help God, me. It's the worst. I know they get annoyed too and it's like something's wrong sometimes with the system where it keeps uh, on being like, uh, you need a sales associate, sales associate. And then sometimes thing. it doesn't acknowledge the bag. Or if you is don't there. if you don't wait if it's not if the weight's not there, it's a problem. But yeah. I worked at Old Navy when I was in high school and I used to be so exhausted when stuff went scanned. I would just put it in the bag. I gave so <laughs> you many. You just gave stuff away. Child, don't tell nobody. Do not hire no Chris. Is there a statute of limitations? Y'all right now. But child, I would. People would have free micro fleece, all the things. So I was oh like, I gosh. can't scan They'd it. They'd probably like go to his register. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that is your Under the Radar. Now, you know we got the Way Up Mix coming at the top of the hour. Plus, we have comedian Lunell joining us today. And I feel like a, a, lot of, comedy. a lot of this interview, we had to um, put only on the YouTube channel because it's like a sexy red song. Ooh. Okay, it's very hard to edit it for I the air. I thought she was going to say OnlyFans, because she is the OnlyFans. Oh, we talked about that. Okay. That was one of the things she told me not to ask about. Well, and then I asked it. All right, but we'll discuss it. Um, Lunella is going to be coming up later, but in the meantime, let's party it up. It's a Monday. Chris with a spoon is here. Let's celebrate let's his way go. up. Way up. Just like to talk like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee Way up.
It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Chris Witherspoon is here. What's poppin'? I feel so good to be here, y'all. Me? Yeah, I'm glad to have you, because you are really in this entertainment world, all I mean, right? this is my bread and butter, y'all. Well, let's do some Yee tea. Jeannie Mai was on the Jennifer Hudson show, and for the first time ever, she's really spoken about her divorce from Jeezy. And here's what she had to say about finding out when we did. I think I'm doing better now, you know? I think yeah. at the time when I found out you know, at the same time as the rest of the world that yeah. my marriage was ending in divorce, I was gutted. Today, it's about picking up the pieces. It's about discovering me mm -hmm. and being a mom to the best blessing in my life. Even though this year I met the most broken version of me, mm -hmm. I also met the strongest version of I me I love today. how you said that. Ooh, that's tough. Oof. That is powerful. But I love, my therapist always says, life happens to us. You know, it happens for us, not, not to, to us. us. You know, mm -hmm. and to me, everything in your life, it can be, it can, you can let it break you or it can lead to your breakthrough. Right. And it sounds like that is what she's letting us do. And it's okay to be broken for a minute too. You know, sometimes yeah. you feel like we gotta always be strong. It's okay and to just. find those pieces. Yes. And put it together. But props to Jennifer Hudson for getting this exclusive. That's I a know, good that's a good look exclusive. for her show. And she also talked about the holidays and her daughter going with her to the Bay. And she said that her daughter, Monica, will also be spending time with her dad, Jeezy, so that she's able to experience both sides of the family. So at least they're co-parenting. Yes, that is so uh, fine. Even though he had said previously that he wasn't getting the access and she was gatekeeping, but not purposefully, um, their daughter. That's wild. All right, Money Long gave a health update on her lupus battle, and she also revealed that she recently learned that she is autistic. All right. She said, um, apparently I'm autistic and my free self is the version of me that I began repressing at the age of 22 because it made people highly uncomfortable. It started first with me doing insane amounts of drugs. And then when that didn't work, I just held it in, which led to lupus. But she said, and now the lupus has gotten to a point where it's effectively impossible to contain. And in order to free myself from the roller coaster that is autoimmune disease, I have to let my emotions, thoughts and feelings out. But autism, OMG, this is so whack. But at least knowing I am autistic explains so much. Wow. I'm just proud of her for having the transparency to go online and say all of this. These young kids need to learn it is OK to be to not be OK sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I think so many of our artists, our, our, our rappers, our singers, they are on the spectrum. So many of them, it, it, it opens up to a whole new wave of creativity, I think. Right. Some people who are autistic are some of the most brilliant oh geniuses. My God. So embrace it. Don't be afraid. We got to. But it is to... hard to learn that right away. So I sympathize with that because she said she just uh, found that out. And so. Oh, yeah. Because my mind will be Googling all the wrong things and like going down <laughs> a spiral. You know? All right. Well, shout out to you. I love me some money long. So Same. appreciate that. And there was a rumor that Ashanti and Nelly are expecting a baby. The two of them were on stage over the weekend and then he. He rubbed her belly on stage. You know, automatically the rubbing of the belly means <laughs> it means a little some some. It means a lot of that. So we'll see what happens. They could have been joking or not, but we shall see. And when we come back, Chris with the spoon, we're gonna learn some more about what you have going on right now. Yes. But speaking of Ashanti and Nelly potentially, you know, having a baby, let's play some birthday sex because that's how that happens. It was just <laughs> his birthday. Here's Jeremiah. Birthday sex is way up. I'll be way up with Angela Yee. Break them, them, break them down. More now. It's it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Chris Witherspoon is here with me today. What's poppin', y'all? And I'm so glad that you came up here, because you came and guest uh, co-hosted one time. Yes. But like I said, when I first was developing this show, Way Up With Angela Yee, you were one of the people I had on my list as an entertainment analyst, entertainment expert, yes. all right, and also as a founder of Pop Viewers. And I think I even called you. When I first started, and I was like, we got to do this because you're very great at talking about um, television, movies, music, all of those Absolutely, things. Absolutely, all the things. Where did that culture. love come from? You know, I grew up in this small town in Ohio, um, and Ohio's listening right now, where we didn't have a lot to do but watch TV, watch TV, listen to music. And I always dreamed of one day, not just covering content, but talking about how it gets made, how it gets greenlit, and mm -hmm. creating, you know, my company is a dream tech. My company is called Pop Viewers. You just can download us right now on the Apple App Store. Um, but I wanted to create a platform to really help democratize the critic process in Hollywood, but also help build a pipeline for data and analytics to help us, you know, help Hollywood understand what to make next. Right. Because we discussed how like sometimes we look at reviews and it'll say that a movie is 
you know, gotten low score on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, but we yeah. love it. No, and then totally. we're like, yeah, and we're like, why did these? Re- why are these reviews? And sometimes that could turn people off from watching something. Also, no, the review system in Hollywood is definitely broken in many ways. Mm-hmm. But I think also the content creation process—they base a lot of it on reviews, but a lot of it's just based on you know instinct. And they lost the studios and streamers lost fourteen billion last year because they lack the the key analytics and data to really help them make data driven decisions. So we're helping. Really Really, I think, inform mm-hmm. the science of what to make next. And we're bringing the viewers along with us. And this is something that um, actors and producers and directors will really appreciate, too, right? Yeah, yeah. We have Steve Harvey as a partner in our company. I know that's right. Along with Joy Reid from MSNBC. <laughs> um, and yeah, our goal was to bring on a couple other big name uh, producers, talent, actors. Uh, and we just launched or locked in our first stu- uh, pilot partnership with the major studio. I can't say the name. It is in a January, major film we will, studio. We will be announcing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What major, and I mean major. It's major. Uh, but you guys, be sure to download the Pop Viewers app and just know that we're going to be having screenings, in-person screenings, starting next year for these films and for these shows um, to really give you guys a seat at the table. Well, okay, let's talk about some um, things that you're watching right now then. Okay, okay. Since, since we're discussing, what are some of your picks right now that we can watch on streaming services? All right, well, I was watching this show, The Crown, obviously, okay. the new season of The Crown, which is so good. Um, what was I watching on Netflix? Netflix. Oh my God, I'm blinking right now. But I was seeing, I, I was watching the, the Bravo show, um, Martha's Vineyard. I oh, that's how your friend that. is. My there. friend mm-hmm. Jasmine, who is so amazing. That's a fierce show. What are you watching right now? Oh my gosh, you know, 90 Day Fiance, new episode was on last night. Oh. <laughs> So I absolutely, for some reason, love 90 Day Fiance. It's so good. And Gino and Jasmine, that is my favorite couple on there. They are so out of control. I feel like they're going to get their own spinoff show. You know what else? And I said this recently the other day. I went back and rewatched all of Queen of the South to kind of um, refresh myself on that. And then a new movie that just came to Netflix, but it's not a new movie, but it just came to Netflix, 99 Buildings. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that one. Oh my gosh, it was heartbreaking. Uh, It it was about this guy whose house gets... um, foreclosed on okay and then he ends up going to work for the person that kicked him out of his house but really like the guy's whole business that he went to go work for was <laughs> kicking people out of their homes and taking it over from the bank oh my god and making money wild. like that and imagine how heartbroken how heartbreaking it is yeah when you've lived in a house your entire life raised your children there and then the bank comes and takes it because you haven't paid um your mortgage because you can't find work for the past couple that's, of months that's insane so it was um you, you know, know i got my real estate weekend. license i love watching real estate movies i'm i'm, I'm pretty to have a, a, a real estate show at some point. Okay. Um, but I watched Tyler Perry's, his documentary Ooh, on Prime. Was that? that was so good. I cried so hard. It's really a love letter to his mom. It's called Maxine's Baby. It's on Amazon Prime or on Prime Video. But also, I think with Tyler, I just have a whole new appreciation for his work ethic and how he he breaks down the science around how he shoots things in like 13 days and writes, directs, produces all the things. I'm going to watch that. I'm going to watch it at, um, later this week. All right. Well, thank you, Chris, so much. Uh, we're still guest hosting. But ask you is coming up so any advice that you want I'm here my guest host Chris Witherspoon is here with me today 800-292-5150 what do you need help with call us up he's also great at giving life advice I mean bring the tea y'all come on bring the tea it's way up with Angela Yee (laughs) if it's relationship or career advice Angela's dropping facts you should know you should know this is Ask Yee What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and my guest host, Chris Witherspoon, is here with me today, founder of Pop Viewers. And it's time for Ask Yee. You guys get to ask any question, and we're here to help. 800-292-5150. Now, today's caller wants to be anonymous. Hello. I'm kind of disguising my voice right now, because I want to remain as anonymous as possible. Okay, Okay, that's fine. What's your question? So, you know, I'm torn between, like, these two chicks, and I'm just trying to figure out how do I decide, like, because... You know, holiday season expensive when you got more than one person. Ah, oh, mm, okay. That is true. Good thing Mado's not here. He would have said have a threesome. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, so tell me about both women. Like, how long have you been with them? And are they forcing you to choose? Or they don't? I guess they don't know about each other. But are they like trying to lock in? Do they both think that they're your girlfriend? Like, what's the situation? So the story gets even deeper than that. So. It's the two chicks, and then there's a chick that think I'm in jail right now, and she be sending money for uh, commissaries and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, I keep taking that money because she's sending it. Where is she sending it to? So she thinks she's sending it to my brother so he could put it on my book. Oh, wow. Okay, but instead, he's just giving it to you. Yeah. Do you like, so you don't even like her, you're just using her. 
Pretty much. I'm not really, really worried about her. All right, so she's a non-factor, yeah. but you got to stop ticking. Maybe you need to just cut it off of her. Yeah, she's she not really here, so I'm not really worried about her. All right, her. so tell I me about the other two that matter. The two that matter, you know, both of them very beautiful young ladies. They say when you date, you're supposed to have multiple options mm-hmm. until you're ready to become serious. And it's like, I kind of want to be serious with both of them, but that's unfair to one of them. Right. But is there one is there one that brings out a better quality in you or brings out the best in you, elevates you to your next level of game? If there is, I would choose that person. And that, and that's the thing. They kind of like the same person. Why do you have to right now settle down? Maybe because that's you haven't a made point. a decision yet, maybe you should just continue to be single until you make up your mind and unfortunately for you that might mean one of them decides to date other people too and find somebody else that they like but it feels like if you don't have a decision and don't know what to choose maybe it's not time for you to choose maybe it's time for you to because you don't have to be locked in I understand you're saying you want to be in a relationship but I don't think that you're necessarily ready if you can't decide with who Okay, that makes sense. And I think whenever the conclusion comes to you, you'll know. You will have no doubt in your mind who you should choose. Ah, no doubt, no doubt. Is no it going to be hard for you to be honest that. because you're taking you money be... and pretending to be in jail? <laughs> <laughs> can you be honest? Can you can you tell them the the real real? I pretty much told them the whole thing about you know. I was told when you date, you're supposed to have you supposed okay. to date multiple people. Okay. Who you but so I already told them that, but. You know, at some point, we all got to grow up. I do want to get married one day, potentially. Mm-hmm. You know, have my family and things like that. But I just don't. You're not there yet, wanna... sir. You're not. You can't just, yeah. If you're not there, you're just not there. You can't force it. I don't want nobody to feel like they wasted their time and they not. Well, if you tell you know them the truth, then that's a decision they're making. So it's never a waste of time. Do you mind me asking how old are they and, and, and how old are you? What's your age? I feel like if I tell you that, my family listens to this a lot. I have to kill you. (laughs) All right, well, well, listen, (laughs) you're not ready yet. It's okay. You've been honest. So until you feel like you have a distinctive decision to make, um, and this is the one, then it's not. All right. I got you. I appreciate that. All right. Well, thank you for calling and and trusting us and staying anonymous. All right. Well, that was Ask Yee, 800-292-5150. In case you couldn't get through, you can always leave a message and we will answer your question that way. And when we come back, we have Lunell joining us. She'll be talking about her special on Netflix, Town Business. And she'll talk about a whole lot of other things. And Lunell is very lip service friendly. Let's just say that. It's way up. We about to do this. Yeah. Yo. More Way Up with Angela Yee on now. You know who it is. You know who it is. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And for the first time on my own show, I got Lunell here with me. What's pew, up, pew, Lunell? Pew, pew, pew. What's up, <laughs> Angela? Congratulations on everything. Oh, man. And I'm glad that I could say right back to you. Congratulations you. on absolutely everything. I saw you at, um last time was at Dave Chappelle's birthday party. Oh, yes. And yeah, we had a time. A time. <laughs> <laughs> but every time you're with Chappelle, it's a time. You don't know when the night's going to end. At, but- that is is definitely for sure but with you too because you are out in these streets okay as we know you got a new netflix special out yeah now i have one criticism and it was too short yes i have nothing to do with that okay i did what they said to do Mm -hmm. they didn't pay me like it was 30 minutes i'll tell you that no i feel you on that yeah but uh, the next one that i do will probably be an hour but i didn't have anything to do with that i thought it was going to be out Okay. The good thing is, though, that you would rather people be like, that was too short. Than Absolutely. That was too long. Then she should have shaved the last 15 <laughs> off. Yeah. So make them want for more. Now, tell me about the night that you filmed because Dave Chappelle is producing this. You mm-hmm. are the second person, right? First, it was Earthquake, and then you're special. Uh huh. And then he's going to do uh, Donnell. He just did Donnell Rollins, and I think um, Tony Woods, maybe. I don't know, but I'm definitely the only female. <laughs> Okay, so what I want to ask you, what the experience was like, because Donnell had to film his a couple of times. How did it go for you when it came to you? Like, was it a one time, like, Oakland, we did it. All right, this is good. Let's go. What was the night like? How was it working with Netflix for the first time doing a special with them? Well, we filmed it twice. It was very exciting for me because I've done specials before. You know, I did a Snoop Dogg Bad Girls Gone. I did Funny Woman of a Certain Age. I've done specials before, but I've never had one done. 
for me. It's Lunel. Yes, where the trucks were there building stuff for me. Yeah. They were hanging curtains and my name was up on the wall. You're watching this just to see me. For me. Yeah. yeah. And that was very, very exciting. And of course, my daughter was there to mm -hmm. see everything being built. And actually, Chappelle told her. Her, that he was getting me a special. He still ain't told me. Oh, you still don't know. No, I, 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 it happened and, and he never told me. He told her that he was going to get me a special and I knew. Lunell, what made Chappelle decide to do that? How did that even happen? Because you have great relationships with a lot of comedians. I do. I feel like Chappelle, you kind of met even later than like say a Cat Williams or... Yes, for yeah. sure. So what made that happen? Why was that something that was... Um, you would have to ask Dave that. I don't know why you never you asked him? Me. No. I don't care. <laughs> but, I'm just happy you yeah, I'm just happy. <laughs> Thank you. We met in Canada, and I didn't even know he knew who I was. And then we met here in New York when Eddie came to film Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. He seen me coming down the hall, and he was like, the queen, the queen is here. I'm looking around for Queen Latifah. I'm like, is the queen live here? But he was talking about me. We took pictures and everything, and then I didn't see him no more until during the Rona when he built that. The cornfield. Yes, in Yellow Springs. Mm -hmm. Then I got summons, you know, when these big people, they, they're they like cat or whatever, they, they <laughs> summons you and then you drop everything. And we went out to Yellow Springs and it was there when I was on stage. He was watching me. He told my daughter, I'm going to get your, he leaned over and told her, I'm going to get your mom a special. What light came on in his head, I don't know. Okay. What his process was, I don't know. But I mean, I am one of the best. Yeah, so no, absolutely. Why not? Why not me? All right, Lou Nell is here with us. We have more with her. And by the way, I couldn't stop laughing talking to her. We could have went on and on and on. But make sure you check out Town Business. We'll discuss that more when we come back. It's Way Up. Yo. More Way Up with Angela Yee on now. You know who it is. You know who it is. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Lunell is here talking about her Netflix special, Town Business. Do people ever say inappropriate things to you because maybe they hear your stand-up and they feel like they can just approach you? They only say in, inappropriate things. In any me. way? Okay. That's a problem with relationships. Don't nobody come at me and be like, Hey, Lunell, you know, I'd really like to <laughs> take you out to dinner and get to know you. Nobody says that. No one says that? Mm -mm, nobody says that to me. They laugh. What that mouth do, Lunell? Oh, my God. And <laughs> like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Unless you're okay. With oh well, it. Wah, wah, wah. no, I'm, I'm sort of over it. Like I would like to go to dinner. I don't want to <laughs> everybody I meet, but my DMs is nasty AF. <laughs> uh, have you ever? A little had heartbreaking, that? actually. Yeah, look, Luke now wants to be wind and dying. It ain't just about, right? you know. And I'm like, you know, we can get to that, but can we go to the movies or something? What about, have you ever tried online dating? I have not tried <laughs> online dating, but I am involved with a service right now. Mm -hmm. But it's very exclusive, and the men have to pay $50,000. $50,000? even be in the pool to me. Hell yeah, because, number one, I've been the bitch that ride with the construction worker. <laughs> I've been the bitch that had the hard work. I've done that all my life. Okay. But at this point in my life, right. I need to have somebody financially equally yoked with me. Mm -hmm. I need to have somebody who can go on vacation more than two weeks in August. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I need to have somebody who can travel. And I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask no, it's not. Those at are this all, stage yeah. in my life. So you really are on a site and the guys have to pay that. So have you met anyone yet or are <laughs> you planning? <laughs> Crickets. No? Okay. Crickets. Uh, because the guys really, they really want young bitches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Like, besides everything that you just said, do looks matter? The looks matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm talking to Lunell. Have you ever dated another comedian? No. Never. Mm -hmm. Okay, not even a I screwed dinner. one. <laughs> I wasn't dating. But he won the comedy competition. He had... Three thousand dollars. So <laughs> I slept with the check under my pillow that night. <laughs> well, listen, Luna. Thank you so much for joining me because I have been. I know we've been trying. I think last time we had you scheduled, and then they had to reschedule or whatever. But I'm just glad you made it. Well, well I thank you for having no, me. No, first of all, like I said, when I was whispering in your ear, I'm really proud of you. Thank you for stepping away because that's hard to do too when you're securing your job. Yeah. You no, know? everybody was definitely like, she's so stupid. Why would she do that? It's over. Oh. But 
it's okay. I'm good. Like, I never pay attention to what other people have to say. I always have to follow what I want to do and, and what's in my heart. And I, I feel like I've made some great decisions for myself. Well, that's who you got to please at the end of the day. Right. I'm really excited for you. I want to be come back and do lip service. Uh, we would love to have you. It's going to get way more in depth because I got some more questions after our conversation Let me today. just put this on the record. Don't ask me. I do not do Don't Don't ask me. Now. You wouldn't ever do it? <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Let me get out of here. Okay, thank you. No, you're turning, <laughs> you're turning me so dirty. All right. Thank you, Lunell. And make sure y'all go and watch on Netflix. Make sure you guys go support. Um, town Business. Yes, the Town Netflix Business. Comedy Special. You can follow me on Instagram at Lunell at L U E N E L. You know what? On your OnlyFans, I bet if you did, like, for the first time ever. I'm shutting that down December 31st. Okay, so I think. I'm having a clearance sale. <laughs> Now or never. You got to do something big, though, to celebrate like you should have down. Everything I do is big. I'm a big girl. You got to do something. You know what you should do? What should I do, Angela? All right, now I'm not going to say it. And she looks over at my daughter. My daughter's got her headphones on. <laughs> She's been... <laughs> Right. Maybe something you've never done before. That's all I'm going to say. We'll just leave it there. Girl, I'm all shutting right. all that <laughs> down. I just want to be a nice girl, be a nice man to take me out on the boat and <laughs> like that. <laughs> we can be real funny. All right, well, y'all, make sure you go subscribe to the OnlyFans now while you still can. <laughs> Angela! Now while you still can until the end. <laughs> you got remember 30 the days. Thing, remember two things I, said, I want to talk about the old one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what about a threesome? I thought the show was over. <laughs> uh, the show's right, over. Lip service. Lip, we'll talk check about me it. out on lip service. <laughs> we'll talk about all when the kid ain't in the room. <laughs> on lip service. And we'll put it on her OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, Angela! Feet. All right, it's way Jesus. up. Luna, thank you. All right, it's way up with Angela Yee. When we come back, you have the last word. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in to get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Chris Witherspoon, founder of Pop Viewers, has been here with me all day today. Thank you I, for having me, Angela. I appreciate you. This is the highlight of my week. It's early, but I know it's going to be the highlight of my week. <laughs> rest of the, for the rest of the week. Let's start the week off right. <laughs> yes. No, honestly, you guest hosted once before. I've been wanting you to come back, so we got to make sure that you're, you know, updating us on things here and there. Even if you could only do a segment, I know you're a busy yeah, guy. I'm down. I'm down. But I appreciate you. And thank you to Lou Nell for joining us. Make sure you check out Town Business on Netflix. You can watch that full interview on my YouTube channel, Way Up With Yee. Uh, Chris, I'm going to see you later this week, right? We down. We got okay. business to discuss. We got, mm-hmm. we got business. We got business. And as usual, you guys get to have the last word, 800-292-5150. I have been holding a secret for 38 years. My son's father, that he thinks that he's his father, which he's really not. My son's really father is deceased. And the bad thing about it, my son is deceased. But my oldest son's father thinks that he's the father of my baby boy, and he's not. Yeah, this is Khalil Jones calling out of Old Soul, Arkansas. I just want to shine a light on myself. Today my birthday, and I'm wishing to get more wishes on my birthday. Thank you, Angela. Going way up, turn up, turn up. with Angela Yee.